Hello friends, welcome to Civil Engineering Exam. Today we are going to see the problem related with soil mechanics in the topic of consolidation of soil. So the problem is a yeah, stratum of clay is 2 meter thick. So the height is 2 meter. So H equal to 2 meter. Then initial overburden pressure is 50 kN per meter square. So the sigma naught is given that is 50 kN per meter square. Then at the middle of the layer, determine the final settlement due to increase in pressure of 40 kN per meter square. So increasing in pressure, so del sigma equal to 40 kN per meter square. So that is also given at the middle of layer. Then the clay is over consolidated with the pre consolidation pressure. So the pre consolidation pressure also given. So that is sigma c equal to 75 kN per meter square. So the value of coefficient of recompression and compression index. So uh, coefficient of recompression C R is given that is uh, 0.05. Then compression index C C is given. So that is uh, that is 0.25. Okay. So then respectively take the initial Y ratio as 1.40. So the initial Y ratio E naught equal to 1.40 okay so now we have to find out the settlement okay so the compression index is not given the so formula is 0.009 into wl minus 10 okay so the direct value is given that is 0.25 okay so now the formula for uh, find out the consolidation settlement s f equal to the formula is c r divided by 1 plus e naught into h log 10 sigma c dash divided by sigma naught dash plus c c divided by 1 plus e naught into h into log 10 sigma naught plus del sigma divided by sigma naught okay so now uh, we can substitute all the values over here so now cr value is given that is 0 0.05 divided by 1 plus E naught value also given 1.40 into H is 2 into log 10. The sigma C value is uh, 75 divided by sigma naught value is given that is 50. Again plus C C value is given that is 0 0.25 divided by 1 plus 1.40 E naught into 2 into log 10. So sigma naught value is uh, 50 plus sig del sigma is 40 divided by sigma c that is 75. Okay, so now so here is sigma c. So solving this, we got the value of 7.34 into 10 power minus 3 plus here 16.50 into 10 power minus 3 meter. Okay, so totally SF equal to 23.84 into 10 power minus 3 meter okay so now we can convert into mm that is 23.84 mm so this is a final settlement so this is a method we can solve the problem again we will see next video thank you